Let's well say good morning and welcome to those of you listening Classic Radio and uh, those of you viewing uh, via GBN TV, whether it's Channel 7, Channel 11 or Channel 20. Welcome to the Mid-Morning Buzz. And uh, with me this morning, my guest, we have uh, Dr. Peter Maynard. Uh, let's say good morning to him. Good morning to you, sir, and uh, welcome. Good and uh, Dr. Thank Maynard is actually the, the president of the, uh, of course, Commonwealth uh, Lawyers Association. Uh, we, we had to speak about that this morning uh, and share some details about him personally. Dr. Maynard, good morning once again. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank are you. How are you doing me. this morning? Terrific. Particularly after seeing the nice views, beautiful views of Grenada once again. Uh, I'm assuming it's not your first visit to no, Grenada. It's no, not your first visit to Grenada. And I, I, I came here years ago when I, I used to to be a lecturer at Cave Hill at the law faculty in okay, Barbados. Okay, okay. And I'd come here. Uh, in those days, actually, I'm looking for her. This trip, uh, Ma Lottie. I uh, was uh, then around. I don't know if anybody remembers her, mm -hmm. but I'm so so very pleased and thankful uh, to uh, Sabrita and Dash and Ra Ramdani mm -hmm. and Lady uh, Lady Anande and Sir Laurie Tr uh, Joseph uh, oh, right, and Ruggles right. Ferguson and Francis all right, all Paul. Right. All right, all right, all uh, for right. And Tamara uh, Ferguson as well. All right. For um, making the arrangements for me to be here again. All right. It's lovely to be back. In all right. And uh, you were explaining to me that, of course. You being the, the the first individual from the Caribbean mm -hmm. to, to to hold the position of president of the uh, uh, you know the Commonwealth uh, yeah. Lawyers Association. Tell us a wee bit about that. Let's yeah. something. Yes, Tell certainly. us a little bit about the history of it and to where we at right yes, now. Yes, certainly, GG. Lovely. The, the Commonwealth Lawyers Association consists of. 56 nations, yes. uh, and indeed a third of the world's population, especially including India. Mm -hmm. uh, and the purpose of it is uh, to deal with the rule of law, access to justice, human rights, and the independence of judges and lawyers. Yes. And the, as far as the history is concerned, it was actually conceived by a man uh, from the Caribbean region uh, back in about 1986. He said there should be a... a, a a CLA, a Common Lawyers Association. He was mm -hmm. appointed the first president. Yeah. But since 1986, there has not been a Caribbean president. I'm the first one since then. All right. Uh, yeah. The rest of the world is... Well, I should uh, say congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. The rest of the world has gotten involved in the mm -hmm. CLA, and I'm hoping that we will raise our visibility within the CLA and also have a broad impact uh, for the benefit of our peoples. All right. Tell us about, of course, the real working of the CLA. It, it, um, I was elected on the platform of deepening the engagement in those areas. The CLA issues, uh, issues statements on various issues yes. around the world and makes a big impact uh, in connection with those issues. Human rights, rule of law, independence of judges and lawyers, access mm -hmm. to justice. Uh, for example, um, the, a judge in, in um, Kiribati in the Pacific, uh, he's being deported by the government. And yes. uh, this is a matter of president progress. Yeah. We've issued a number of statements in support of the independence of judges and lawyers. Uh, uh, the, in the case of, uh, you may have heard, um, just last week, um, I issued a statement, we issued a statement regarding the Gambia. The Gambia wants to reintroduce it wants to re-legalize yeah. FGM, female genital mutilation. Yes. And we issued a very strong statement against that. Uh, in our own region, uh, the, and the prime ministers of, of two of the countries uh, uh, spoke, I think, um, of St. Vincent and uh, it may have been Barbados, yes. uh, who um, spoke about um, the appointment of, of um, 
of judges, uh, and and we issued a, say, uh, a statement that, uh, on that. A, a lawyer was not allowed to to advise a client in Guyana uh -huh. or, or, or about the right, right to remain s silent, and we issued a statement regarding that. And so, um, the workings include also having a conference every two years. Yes. The next one is going to be in Malta from April the 6th to the 10th. <coughs> Previous ones have been held in um, Melbourne in 2017, yes. uh, Zambia in 2019, the Bahamas in 2021. I drafted the invitation for that, and hopefully there'll be more such coming from the re from this region to bring people from around the world here to Grenada and other mm -hmm. countries in the region. Uh, and then there was in Goa, April of last year, Goa, India. We had, and the next one is going to be in Malta, April the 6th to the 10th in Malta yeah. of 2020. Five. Yes. And I, 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 I invite lawyers and, and non-lawyers who are interested, please, to come and join us at that conference. But in addition, under my administration, we not only have all the seats filled around the table of all 56 countries, but we also have now a number of committees which actually do various things. Various things. I mentioned the, the statements. Yes. Issue statements. But we also have a corporate and commercial committee, uh, and uh, the. Uh, leadership includes actually Rene St. Rose of St. Lucia as one of the co-leaders of it. Uh, we also have in that concept, that committee, corporate and commercial, mm. we have uh, conferences being envisaged in the area of oil and gas. Um, uh, uh, Ms. Uh, uh, Sabrita Ramdani is one of the organizers and, and Darshan yeah. of, of that idea. As, as well as some others. Then uh, um, we have uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Lady Trotman, for example, Lady Trotman Joseph, for example. Um, there's also criminal advocacy, how, how, how to deal, how to improve how lawyers, criminal lawyers and other lawyers um, act as advocates on behalf of their clients. Okay. We're providing training for that to, to, to raise the, the standard of, of training. Oh, yeah. And so that is in the area of say, corporate and commercial. There's also climate justice. There is uh, human rights and rule of law. There is law tech and innovation, uh, public and administrative law. There's also a training institute which um, issues uh, training in those areas I mentioned, and we do everything from AI uh, to um, climate justice. I, I just had a, a conference in Malaysia, in Borneo, Malaysia, on the climate, and issued a, a declaration uh, in support of climate justice okay. uh, as well. And so we're hoping to do more in those areas. I'm hoping we can do more in those areas oh, in this region as well. Right. Tell me about the significance of your visit to Grenada now. That's really the significance. I'm trying to get uh, the, the lawyers and the public to engage yes. uh, with the common lawyers. Uh, we, uh, Caribbean uh, has not been high uh, enough, in my view, on the visibility of, of the CLA. They're very active uh, elsewhere in the world, and there's yeah. no reason why our, our, our region sh should not be elevated yeah. as well. The website is Commonwealth Lawyers, a long name, commonwealthlawyers.com. Mm -hmm. not .org, and you, if you see that, you see lots, lots of information on there. Yeah. If there's anything that interests you, do let me know, and the public, and please become engaged. You can, you can actually become engaged right there on the website, the web, the webinars, mm -hmm. uh, training opportunities committees, and so on. All right. Why, why, why is it that it's that we have that limited amount of lawyers within the Caribbean being part of the Commonwealth Law Lawyers Association? Well, I think uh, traditionally. Um, we tend to work in our own little silos. We tend to look at, put out bushfires, look at the immediate problems, yeah. and not see some of the big picture. Now, we have some big picture thinkers in the Caribbean. As you know, we've had Caribbean Nobel laureates. We have had Caribbean people who've changed, who've really brought dramatic change in so many different organizations. The issue of climate justice is one where we have a big impact yeah. on, uh, and indeed other areas of, of, of world affairs. Mm. Uh, Bahamian, um, uh, the uh, Caribbean people have had a quite a strong impact. And I'm, I'm encouraging to see that happen within the CLA. Right. So it's coming. Right. What, uh, are, what are some of the benefits we would see lawyers from the Caribbean can obtain for being part of the CLA? Uh, they, uh, they are networking opportunities, of course. Yes. Uh, and uh, opportunities to um, to find work, to be referred to to work in different areas that we are engaged in. So you wouldn't in. be that restricted to your, uh, your particular uh, area or so? That's right. Mm -hmm. You can find work in your particular area or you can find it broader. All right. Uh, you know, I myself, for example, I my area is... Anti-corruption. I, I 
I do I asset tracing and recover. I, I act on behalf of victims of fraud to recover assets for them. Yeah. I'm hoping that that will uh, have a big, greater, pre greater presence within the CLA. Mm -hmm. And generally, also I do dispute resolution. We now have seen the changes in dispute resolution, yeah. uh, uh, improving the case of case management. Yes. Courts go uh, cases go through the system more, more quickly because we now have. Uh, we're doing mediation or will go through more quickly through mediation and so on. Right. So there are many, many benefits for the individual lawyers, firms, and for the public at large. All right, great, great, great. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's interesting to hear what you speak of, you know, in terms of you being the, the first individual from the Caribbean and wanting more lawyers from the Caribbean to be part of the CLA and, and you know, and, and be more advocate in terms of helping individuals and not for for themselves only, but for the Caribbean as a whole. Am I right by saying that? Absolutely, absolutely. The um, We are doing, for example, a right now a declaration on access to justice, um, uh, human rights, rule of law. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was the president of OCBA, uh, the Organization of Commonwealth Caribbean Bar Associations. Yeah. Uh, the current president is Donovan Walk of Jamaica. The past president is Ruggles Ferguson of Grenada. Yes. Um, and we worked on drafting various declarations. For example, last night, I, I was, yesterday I was looking at uh, the, the, the St. Kitts Nevis Declaration on Access to Justice, uh, which we drafted back in 2002. Yeah. We're taking this to another level, to the world level, the global level, not just the regional level, but to the world level through through um, the Common Lawyers Association uh, for the benefit of our people. You know, I, I have, um, I say, I have a very uh, adult, 15-year-old granddaughter, and I have to justify to her why Poppy. She's 15, going on 25. I, I say, <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to justify to her why I spent so much time in this organization, mm. and really to to improve our societies, to to alleviate mm. poverty. Uh, to the extent that we can, we can, and I think we can, mm -hmm. uh, when one considers that there are enough resources in, in, in this world to, to end poverty, to eliminate poverty, it's it's not it's not an easy task. Yeah. And I'm, I'm against, uh, I say, physical poverty and also spiritual poverty, yes. it's poverty of, of, of thinking. And uh, as I say, lawyers uh, as, as social engineers should have a big impact uh, on improving conditions in our societies through organizations such as the Commonwealth Lawyers Association. Tell me, tell me this. You being the president now, and there have been past presidents uh, before, mm -hmm. what difference would you like to see the CLA make under your reign? Uh, those, that very same point, having a great impact on our societies, a very positive impact, I say I express it as, as alleviating poverty. Um, but uh, instead of just the statements which are very important, by the yes. way, um, and the conferences every two years, mm -hmm. very important. I'd like on an ongoing basis to help uh, alleviating the suffering and difficult the hardships that our people are facing uh, th uh, by through these various committees, which I which I mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, we been discussing forming a criminal law committee within the C CLA. Yes. I've met lawyers in the four Winwood countries, and they're very enthusiastic about that. Uh, and so I, just this morning I had a Zoom with the CLA Secretariat, which is based in, 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 in England. Yes. And uh, there is a senior lawyer in Scotland and the Advocate General of England uh, who wants to do the same thing. So I'm putting our lawyers together with them yeah. to uh, form a criminal law committee to have a greater impact on the reform of the criminal justice system. Oh, right. uh, for example, I had the honor of discussing with uh, Justice Ricky Burnett uh, of St. Vincent, High Court Judge in St. Vincent. And I myself sat as an acting High Court Judge some years back. Yeah. And I know that um, that legal aid, for example, needs to be reformed. Um, in other words, in some certain jurisdictions, I'm not sure of Grenada, but perhaps Grenada falls into the same thing. Mm -hmm. Illegal aid is only offered in capital cases right. at the high court stage. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the case in the Bahamas, my own country. Mm -hmm. That's also the case, I believe, in St. Vincent, when we were discussing St. Vincent. But one needs legal aid 
at the time of arrest. Mm-hmm. You need legal aid at the time of uh, incarceration. Yes. You need legal aid at the time of your arraignment. Not just at the high court trial. By the time you get legal aid at the high court trial, you may have already sold yourself down the, down the river, and, and the advice could, would have made a, a big difference. Mm-hmm. Um, lots of innocent people are not are convicted. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so uh, under the circumstances where we don't have the proper reforms in place. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm learning more about, about, about Grenada, but I'm certain that the impact on of having criminal justice reform can be very significant here as well mm-hmm. as it would be throughout the region. Mm-hmm. So that's just one area where we can make a difference. The other areas I mentioned, like corporate and commercial, mm-hmm. make a di- big difference there uh, in terms of, of um, improving um, a law re- re- regarding international trade, transport, business, and so on. Right. Um, right. Uh, for example, I was discussing... Um, Economic citizenship is offered by by Grenada, I yes. believe, and some other countries. Um, uh, many other countries around the global south are engaged in com- and financial services, including the Bahamas, Cayman Islands, Turks and Caicos Islands, so, and so on. And we've seen that um, it really is not a matter of law that uh, they say it's anti-money laundering and so on. Yes. But it tends to, in many cases, reduce just to competition one jurisdiction or one set of jurisdictions more powerful competing against the smaller ones. So understandably so, yes. yes right. Yes, and, and, yes. and so we have to present the position there as well uh, to make sure that um, our views are felt. <laughs> and so the CIB, and I have in the works now a declaration on access to justice, human rights. Um, we also want to be able to, to, we have also one on AI, artificial intelligence, yes. a global declaration on the subject, state of the art. Um, I myself did a first draft of, of that to move that along. Yeah. And I'm hoping to see other initiatives uh, taken, which will benefit not only lawyers and firms and the judges, uh, but also the public at large. That's, re- that's really what we are after at the end of the day, right. improving our societies as, as social engineers. Right. Why, well, you know, I'm assuming your visit here, as you said, is to get the lawyers involved and so forth. If, if there's a lawyer like that is interested in being part of the association, how do they get to be part of the association? It's as simple as going to the website, commonwealthlawyers.com, yes. and it's, e- it's, it's easy to join. It's very inexpensive. It's probably the best value in town in terms of groups, membership groups. It's, it's less, for lawyers, it's less than 100 U.S. a year. Yeah. All right. Many, many other associations like the IBA and so on are thousands mm-hmm. of dollars. Okay. But this is a uh, and indeed, that's deliberate to keep it uh, so, uh, as inclusive as possible to yes. give everybody. There's also a very strong, by the way, very strong young lawyers, mm-hmm. a young CLA, uh, and we have repres- represents, represents representatives here, I believe, also in the other islands, St. Lucia right. and, and um, St. Vincent and so on. Uh, we encourage young lawyers to interact with the senior lawyers. Uh, to develop uh, action plans which we can put into effect. All right. Great, great, great. Uh, Dr. Bernard, I want to thank you for being on the program this morning. Any closing comments before we take a wrap this morning? Um, I just encourage everybody to take a look at the, at the website to become knowledgeable about the CLA. Um, I'm hoping that uh, more and more, and I, I'm seeing that more and more lawyers are becoming engaged in the CLA. Yes. Um, this is a particularly important time, as, as I'm from the region, that I would like to see more and more lawyers and judges uh, become engaged and also not just be a talk shop, but actually to implement the things, some of the things I've been mentioning right. to improve our, ju- our judicial systems, our criminal justice systems, and our societies at large. All right. Uh, Dr. Bernard, I want to, of course, once again, commend you for, of course, and hope that wish you all the best in your tenure as president. And, of course, all that you have mentioned this morning in terms of wanting to get off the ground and, and, and make it better for the Caribbean as a whole, be you being a Caribbean individual for the first time holding the, 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 this particular rim, I, I, I have nothing but best wishes goes out to you. On that. Thank you so much. And I hope you will join us in Malta. In, for April the 6th to the 10th and, and also in the events we have in this region All right, uh, of next you. year. Thank Dr. Miller, thank you once again for being on the Mid-Morning thank Buzz. You. It's a pleasure to have you, sir. Thank uh, you so much. Best wishes goes out to you once again. I appreciate right. it. Thank hey, you. folks, as we take a wrap for this edition of the Mid-Morning Buzz here at Classic Radio, GBN TV, join us again for another edition.
May 4, there will be a shift on the island as the biggest grilling fest in Grenada moves to the big parish. The Maggie King of the Grill Competition is at Progress Park St. Andrew. Come taste the most sumptuous creations from the grill as top chefs and food enthusiasts showcase their culinary skills. Maggie King of the Grill is a festival like no other with live soca music, fun attractions, and games for the entire family. Then from 6 p.m., get a chance to win up to $5,000 cash and bingo. Interested vendors and grillers should call 456-3454 to register. It's the Maggie King of the Grill competition at Progress Park St. Andrew. Gates open from 12 noon. Bring your appetite and stay tuned to this station for more details. Maggie King of the Grill is made possible by Bryden and Miners, Hunts, the official barbecue sauce of King of the Grill, Rubis, Get Rubis, Get Going, Independence Agency, Agents for Swiss Products, Grenada Paper Product, Grenada Bottle and Company Limited, and Waggy Tea Rental and Sounds. Welcome, welcome, folks. Uh, those of you viewing GBN TV, good, good morning to you once again. Those of you listening, Classic Radio. Let me say good morning to you know. I, this is this is bad. I I, I have had conversations with you before, yes. but we always have done it via the Zoom. Right. Somehow I can't remember your name. Nicholas Snag. <laughs> Mr. Snag. <laughs> yes. Mr. Snag. Good morning to you. And I'm looking at your name right before me, and I ain't paying attention to you today. Mr. <laughs> Nicholas Snag. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, good morning, sir. How are you? And good morning to the GBN listening public. Mm -hmm. Wherever yes. they may be, and listeners, or viewers, there. you know, social media platforms, everything else. We everything gotta, else, we yes, yes. Good there. morning to everyone, and hopefully right. you're having a fantastic day so far. All right, you you representing Gab this morning, uh, of course. The that's the Association of Retired Persons, mm -hmm. uh, you know. And there's always that I I've always liked listening to what what you know the, what the particular organization do Correct. in terms of you know helping individuals, especially mm -hmm. our seniors who have retired and and you know just just still want to be relevant. If I could say put it in that particular way, well accepted, well accepted. <laughs> still, still, still want to be relevant. Relevant. Now you have a particular event coming up. There's always events put on by by Gab. If I could say that, that it's, is correct. There's, there's always something being put on because in terms of keeping yourself. 
abreast of what's going on correct, always. Correct. Tell us what's happening again. Well, at GARP, um, we are hosting a health fair. Yes. Yeah, um, that's one of our items we do on a yearly basis to give back to our society mm -hmm. and to help our seniors and generals in the Grenadian citizenry in general, yes. right? We usually put on four per year, and it's all volunteers doing right. this. The first one we have, and it's going to be on the 18th of April yes. at the Karani James Boulevard. That's where our at welcome center is. Okay. And there's a big tent right next to the Foodland parking lot. Mm -hmm. That's where we are. So once you're in that area and you you want to know what's going on with your health-wise, we are having volunteers there that's going to do all the testing that you, you will need. You, uh, we're talking about your blood sugar, your eyes, your cholesterol, yeah? All those things that we're looking to do. And we also... Um, looking to do some counseling. So we look at you holistically. Right. We're not just looking at your blood pressure. Who's high, welcome to this sugar. particular? Who's welcome to this particular health? Every thing? citizen Everybody. that was. Can you see, when we say, we, when, you, when you, the name of your organization really says senior and senior, we're thinking of a senior and retired Correct. persons. Correct. But this is open to everyone. Despite, open to despite everyone. of your age range, you Correct. invited to come on out. Well, obviously, a, um, a minor cannot come and represent themselves. So true. Obviously. So true. Right? So once you're above the age of being a minor, which is 18 in Grenada or 21 for legal purposes, yes. you are free to come and you will be um, assessed mm -hmm. and you, the information will be shared with you of where we see you being mm -hmm. in terms of your health. Now, the start time is 10 a.m. and we conclude at 2 okay. uh, p.m., right? right? So from 10 a.m. you come in, you'll be registered and you will go through the different um, stations, as we call it, to be assessed. All right. Your blood sugar, your eyes, you know, uh, and we also partner with a lot of uh, our other um, NGOs who's doing work here in Grenada. The sickle cell people will be there yes. and will be doing some testing and screening for that also. As you know, uh, as the, um, Africans, we are susceptible to sickle cell. And the only way to know is to be tested. You have to be tested. Right? And success, sickle cell is a very painful condition to live with. I, I have heard. I have heard. I have heard right. I have heard. And if you've never seen it in action, it's not very good to look mm, at okay. for the individual who's mm. going through it. Um, so it's important for you to know and to be assessed of where you are. Right. Um, Non-communicable disease, NCDs, is very prevalent in Grenada. The high blood pressure, the sugars, yes. high cholesterol, all of those things play, plague us. And I say it like that because that's what it is. It's on yeah. the level of it's a, a plague. It's, it's so true, so true. Yeah? So, true. so we have to take action against it. Yeah, and a lot of it can be controlled by lifestyle changes, your diet, your exercising, your mindfulness. Where are you in your mind? Yeah, yeah. They said the mind heals a lot too. Eh? Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> very much if so. If you think you're gonna get better, usually you, you get, get better. better. <laughs> yes, you get better. Exactly. And nutrition. We mm -hmm. cannot forget nutrition. So food and nutrition will also be there. So if you're having problems with you know, um, with your nutrition, yeah. there's somebody there who will be counseling you on that. So to ensure that you can um, better look after yourself. Right. I believe knowledge is power and power is knowledge. So true. So yeah? true. So true. Why you think everybody's clamoring to get your information? Because that's knowledge. That's knowledge. That's data. They they learn something from what you, from your condition. Once you put everybody together and somebody sits behind a computer screen and start analyzing it and they start telling you all kinds of things about you. Just from the simple information that you give. Correct. You understand. Yes. And, and I would say, I say this also because you don't have to have a condition to come out of the hill fair. No. You don't have to. You just, it's always some folks will say, oh, let me get that checkup, as we would say in local terms. Yes. <laughs> in local, yeah, local terms. Let me come and get a little checkup. Right. So you don't have to have any particular ailment or anything. Just coming out and have your blood sugar checked, you know, have, uh, you know, whatever it is that would be offered. Just, just coming out and, and be part of that. Right. Um, and we are encouraging people to come out and to know their numbers. Um, I'm from the business side of things, and mm. if a business don't know their numbers, what are you doing? Uh, you're, not, you're, not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You don't even you know have to. You have to know. And you so your health, know your health numbers is also important. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to exactly I'm, I'm, where. I'm, 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 cause your exactly, I'm going around your direction. It's very well. important, important for you to know. And information is critical. Yeah? And not knowing is not blessed. 
bliss. Ignorance is not bliss. Don't anybody fool you with that. You must know what's going on with yeah. you. Once you know what's going on with you, you can take the corrective actions to take care of it. So getting back to the location, we're on Karani James Boulevard, yes. right next to the Foodland parking bar. Mm-hmm. Some people say, you know, Karani James Boulevard, what are you talking about? Lagoon Road. Lagoon Road. Some older folks would know it as the... The manga. Uh, Correct is yeah. right. So it doesn't mean I'm that old. Though. <laughs> <laughs> for you, but for you to know it, you have to be around someone who will be able to relate mm. to what the man. Well, was. you know, I've, I've been around. I've been around. Exactly. Been around. So the man, Lagoon Road, <laughs> Corani James Boulevard, mm-hmm. Foodland, right on Corani James Boulevard, right mm-hmm. next to it, there's a big white tent with Garp written on it. Mm-hmm. Stop by there. Um, we're starting at 10 a.m. Like I says, we're yes. going to two. Um, we have volunteers there. Um, so. If you want to call the office for any more information, you can reach the office at 435-9857. We have a WhatsApp number. We... We don't leave technology out. Technology you have to, you have is, to, is to, part yeah. of it. It's we part have of to life be. today. Exactly. A WhatsApp number is 405-6507. I'll repeat that a little slower. 405-6507 for WhatsApp, both messages, voice, notes, whatever you wish to send. If you want to call via that method, it's you can okay. do so. Yeah. And uh, those of us who want to send us an email, maybe encouraging us or you know something they think we should get ourselves involved with is grenada.garp2011 right. 2011 that's the year we were formed okay. at gmail.com all right okay? all right that's very important to get that information out to the listening public um, we are always looking for volunteers um, to join the organization we encourage people to join 55 50 or older sorry yes. i should say you can join the organization and while you join the organization, it's one hundred dollars or eight dollars a day. Mm-hmm. All depends on which way you well, want. Well, that's about the benefits inclusive in that. Inclusive of that. Well, you you we have all our events that we um, host on a bi monthly basis. We host a birthday party event for okay. all the members who is in that bracket, and um, we have partnered with some of the corporate clients of Grenada and where you get a discount by presenting your membership card. Uh, okay, okay. Think about it now. Yeah, you, 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 you think you about you go to the supermarket or the pharmacy and, exactly. you, and you, you flash that card and the benefits that it derives from that. For correct, you. correct, all right, all correct. Right. Um, but what we look at GARP is that we want to ask you, what can you bring to GARP? Because yeah. you've retired now. Yeah. What are you doing with all that knowledge? Are you just sitting on the couch with it? Or are you looking at to pass it on to somebody else who can now help develop yeah. our societies that much further and that yeah. much more rapidly? Yeah. yeah. And, you so, know, senior citizens are sometimes who may have retired. Uh, you know, I keep saying senior citizen, but, you know, individuals who may have retired. And, and they, they have those knowledge that's been better to them over the years. Right. As they're, they're at home now, yeah, maybe not want to do that extra work. Correct. As they say, but you still have a way of, of getting yourself preoccupied, if I could say, if I could put it that way. Yes. In terms of doing something that would be beneficial and Cap is the appropriate place to uh, associate with. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And um, we partner also with Time CC, yes. where we have some of the, the students come in to do uh, volunteer work, and um, some of it is for credits mm-hmm. at the institution. And they get a chance to interact with people they may not necessarily get the opportunity to. But I must say that it's um, not a one way street. Both learn from each other. You interacting with a younger person, they get knowledge from you. So true. You interacting, we get knowledge from them. Yep. Now. Because their ear no intertwines with yours. Correct. Yes. Correct. I heard one person says, I vibrate at my frequency. Mm. You call me, bring your frequency to me. Now we're vibrating at a different frequency. When I go back to my group, I'm at a totally different frequency. So I bring that information with me to that group. So that constant flow of information back and forth yes. must happen. Yeah, so yeah? And if we come keep isolating ourselves, that information is not flowing. And that's critical for us to grow as a society. Yes. That cross generational have to happen. Yeah. Because a lot of most times you know, especially the, the retired person have the the impression that maybe I should not be associated with younger people for some reason. And I mean and it goes the other way also. Correct. Younger people may feel oh, I don't want to be around old people. You know, they have that particular say but you saying now, as you said, once the frequencies are vibrating together. Yes. Somehow it it would it be harmonic for some reason. Yeah. It always becomes harmonic yeah. because um, once we come to each other from a, a a space of respect, 
I respect you. That's good. That's I respect good. your views. I may not agree with it, but I but respect, you respect it. it. Yeah, and you res um, expressing it in a respectful way, we can have a communication. And you have some form of understanding will suddenly come. Correct. Come we will find a level where we would both be able to understand where you're coming from and where I'm coming from. And at the end of the day, we leave in a space where no understand why. Mr. So and so behaves yeah. the way he behaves, and now you, as an older person, I get the young man why he's mm. the way he is. Yeah, and it, it's it's just a matter of understanding. That's what it's just that, a matter of understanding, understanding and having a rapport. And I would uh, uh, implore any young person to engage an elder yeah. in your society. For every start with just saying good morning or hello, how are you? Yeah, and this, the 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 wealth of knowledge that person could impart on you is amazing. All right. Yeah. So interesting to note. Interesting to note. Yes. So give us a date once again. The it's date once again for the event. Could you know sometimes the dates always slips us for some reason or the other. We give yes. all the other information. Hey, we, we didn't say it was on a Monday, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the 18th, which is uh, Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, not quite the middle of the week. It's not quite the weekend either. Um, at the uh, Carney James Boulevard. Yes. That's where our Welcome Center is. The, there's located ex adjacent to Foodlands parking lot. Right. So if you're traveling along that way, make a stop in, yeah. check your numbers. We're, for, we're there from 10 a.m. to 2, 2 p.m. Yeah. Eye exam, blood pressure, cholesterol, sickle cell. Um, there'll be also counseling there, both on a spiritual level, uh, right. counseling for mental, uh, you're struggling with something you want to speak with somebody about, you can also do that. There would be, ah, a lawyer would also be there. So yeah, legal, if you're having some legal I issues that you illegal want to issues that you just want to clarification on. Clarification, get an idea of if you're right, you're wrong, or am I going on the right way? Am I doing it the right, correct way? I'm supposed to be doing it. You want to ask that question? Yes, that's also available. Um, with a lot of people suffering from high blood pressure and diabetes and stuff, we have somebody who will be doing some foot massage. If you never had a foot massage that you don't even know you need. <laughs> Once you have one, you would not go you know, without. You would always think, hey, whenever they, they grab is having another one, I want to be there. I want to be there. I want to be there yes. for that. I yes. want to be there yes. for that. Yes. Mr. Snag, I want to thank you so much for being with us this morning. Pleasure to have you. It's always interesting to hear, of course, you know, how you present the, the activities that we put on by grab. And, and I'm sure our listening and viewing audience will certainly want to come on out and participate. And I like the added incentive, of course, the consulate part of it. That is yes. so important. It is. It is so important. And you know, because after after you maybe have found out you have high blood pressure, you may need somebody to talk to. Very much you, so. You know, or you found out, hey, I mean, I, I may have this particular health problem. No, the mental strain of it kicks in on you. Correct. And you need Correct. someone to talk and say, hey, what's my next direction? Correct. Not just from the medical part of it, but Correct. it's also the, the mental and social part of it that kicks in also. Very much so. That's why we say we holistically look at it individual, not just dealing with the isolated issue. Um, the isolated issue is just one thing, but the individual is way more to it. All yeah. Right, all right. So it's very critical that we look at it holistically. So it's Thank you once again, and a uh, pleasure to have you. Hope when you come back and tell us about the. Well, this is the second one, right? This is the first one for oh, the year. Well, the first one for the year. Yeah. All right. So, so we're looking at three more to come. Falling. Three yes. more to come. Because you did mention it at least four we times. We try to do at least four. Try to do at least four times for the year. Last year. It's going to happen. Last year we said four. Guess how many we did? Five? Six. Six. Yeah, you never know. You probably would end up at seven <laughs> this year. <laughs> <laughs> if the resources prevent it. All right, yes, man. definitely. Hey, folks, that's so we take a wrap for this, uh, of course, edition of the Mid-Morning Box. Thank you, Mr. Snag, again, and all the members of uh, Giraffe, but Grap, if we could say it that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, best wishes, and hope the event rolls out successfully. Thank you, Will. Thank you. All right. all right. Hey, folks, until we have another edition of the Mid-Morning Box, this is where we say goodbye. Join us again, folks. Goodbye.